Okay, so the current issue at hand here is we're getting uh, excess tone are showing up here on a line. Uh, so the reason that this is happening is because it's gloss paper, number one. <clears throat> and number two, this particular book is all black and white except for one color page. And this happens because the machine puts uh, too much toner on it that um, it doesn't leave through the paper and out at your finished product. It has to get cleaned off the transfer belt. So what we need to do is clean this and then we're going to lower the amount of toner that the machine puts on it uh, so that we can run this job. But typically on gloss paper and low ink coverage, this happens. So first turn off the machine and then we got to take this panel off and clean off the cleaning blade inside here. So you have to turn the machine off to do this because <clears throat> there's a sensor up here. If you take this off, there's a, a danger of getting hurt by this laser apparently. So there's three screws. for the cover and then there's going to be three screws here that are these long purple tubes and this doesn't happen that often uh, but there's certain circumstances where it does happen it would be nice if it never happened. So those three, and then you can pull this out. So this is how the sheet came out of the press, and our line is over here. And you can see right here, right there there's a little build up of toner and that's where it's getting past this cleaning blade this right here is a blade that cleans off the transfer belt and uh, what happens is the toner comes from the developer unit onto a drum onto the transfer belt and then onto your paper so it transfers a couple times and this is one of the cleaning mechanisms your drum has blades too um, so sometimes we get too much toner inside the cleaning unit here and that should be vacuumed out. Uh, sometimes you just need to, to brush this area off. Typically if I'm in here, I just get a vacuum out and I just clean the whole thing. So then, it's, then it should be good. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna use a brush this time. Open up the blade a little bit. You should be able to just clean there, whatever's caught in there. And we'll close her up and uh, should be good to go. But this, uh, if you're curious, is the transfer belt that spins in here and your paper comes across the bottom here. Uh, and that's where it transfers over to your paper. Uh, and the uh, this unit's a lot smaller than the C6500, which is what I'm used to. Uh, but here are your developer units, uh, and the drums are inside here. The drums are a lot smaller. But uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like opened up. At this point, you can turn the machine on. I typically do. Well, I'm putting these last screws in. 
because I'm impatient, I guess. It's been a couple days since I've calibrated, so I'm going to do that too while we're at it. Got a whole bunch of art prints for a local artist that sells these on different TV shows and their sayings. Gaming posters. All looks good, no lines yet. One thing I really do like about this press is after it runs out of paper and you fill it up, you close the door and it starts up right away again. The old press didn't do that, you had to push the start button. Right, they're all done. Just gotta cut them down to eight by 10. Give them to the customer. Finished product. That's what she said. Okay, now that uh, those art prints are done, let's start up some more of these books that the line was on. And I'll show you what you can do in here. If you go into your paper settings, select the paper you're running, uh, then do the change set, expert adjust, You can turn on the toner save and do the uh, copies per minute down. And uh, doing that should uh, stop those lines from showing up. <laughs> 